That we might be one of the best metroidvanias I have ever played. Want to know what's so good about it? Stick around and let's find out. You play the game as the titular character Tevi, a self-proclaimed genius sporting bunny ears and a tough attitude. Starting out as the prisoner of a criminal gang, you have to break out and escape. This is how the game shows you the basics of controlling the character and introduces you to the combat dynamics. Tevi is in search of astral gears, which are pretty valuable in her world. Early on in this quest, you will meet two new characters that will join you, but not in the way you initially think. They will essentially become part of your weapon arsenal. These two characters are Celia and Sable. Celia is an angel from Valhalla that is gathering intel on the Astral Gears when she meets Tevi and decides to join her. Sable, on the other hand, is a demon from Tartarus, but not the traditional evil kind, but more of a clumsy one who got lost on his way to a certain city and couldn't find his way until he met Tevi and decided to join her. The game is fully voice acted, but the voices are in Japanese. Luckily, all of the text is available in English, so anyone that doesn't speak Japanese, like me, can still enjoy the game. Tevi is built as a bullet hell metroidvania. While this is accurate, it does not fully do the game justice in my opinion. While at first glance it can appear as a less serious game, don't let that fool you, this is 100% a full flats metroidvania and has been one of the most refreshing and fun ones I have ever played. It combines the more traditional finding of weapons and upgrades with a leveling system that improves Tevi's combat skills and moves as she levels up. This really helps the combat style stay fresh and fun, since you don't have to wait to find that elusive weapon upgrade or item to grow stronger, but can do so continuously while you play and defeat enemies. This, together with all the other elements of a metroidvania, like your maps and inventory system, works seamlessly with the bullet hell mechanic. Being a side-scroller, the controls themselves are very easy to grasp and will feel very familiar quickly. Tevi features 2D pixel art, which look absolutely gorgeous. The animations are smooth and it's a joy to watch your character progressing through the environments and fighting the unique bosses you will come across. The game's pixel art is alternated by cutscenes that feature more detailed drawings of the characters as they interact with each other. The background music, similar to the visuals, is a joy to listen to and matches the style of the game very well. It shall come as no surprise that I really like Tevi. When I first saw the game, my initial expectation was that this would not be my kind of game. The whole bunny ear stuff is not usually my thing, but boy was I wrong. The metroidvania aspects of the game are very well done and so is the story. Without giving away any spoilers, this story has its fair share of twists and turns that will definitely keep you entertained. It's also long and deep enough that you will feel invested with the characters and curious as to how this will all play out. So if you're a fan of good games in general and metroidvanias in particular, then Tevi is definitely worth checking out. Thanks for watching, see you next time.